everybody, Andrew Zimmern, Bizarre Foods America Top 5 Video Countdown, the North Bay, Northern California, not San Francisco, not wine country episode of Bizarre Foods. Number five, gotta be the visit to the Jelly Belly Factory. I know you like to taste crazy things, really off the wall things, and I we do have some of those that are pretty edgy for the candy world. Ooh. Oh, sour underarms. This is barf. It's the sticky well, cheese and vinegar acid. I do like that. That, jelly that is belly. it. <laughs> this is a candy company that was founded in the 1860s, still run by the same family uh, for all of those years. And the new flavor that I can say now because the show is airing, Tabasco, loved it. Number four, with a bullet. In the shadows of this magnificent American icon, the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, we pulled monkey faced eel from these frigid waters and feasted on them. That was white and firm fleshed and elegant. And if you, you could call that a thousand things and put it on a plate in front of somebody and they would devour it. Bizarre Foods America top five video countdown, the no cal, Northern Bay, not San Francisco, not wine country episode. Number three. Not even close, you know, a, a day in the field with Don Watson, knowing that we're going to uh, harvest a sheep and then bring it to a couple of young hotshot cooks. A no tree's a great restaurant. The guys are fantastic. Wooly Weeders is a great concept. And, and Don knows as much about the uh, wine country food scene as anybody. So hanging out with him was a blast. Number two, number two, so, so, so tough. But I'm going to have to go with uh, Craig Romini and his lovely wife and their water buffaloes. What a great story. Do you want a little something? That's crazy. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> yeah, that's about as much scoring as I'm ready to do for today. <laughs> Nobody in America is milking their own water buffaloes. They have to have a release of oxytocin to let the milk down, and they have to be in a really good mood. So, you know, the way I say it is if, if you don't sweet talk a buffalo, you're not getting any milk. And making cheese from it and his ricotta, his mozzarella, his cacciotta. I mean, here is a successful Silicon Valley executive, chucks it all in, gets cash liquid, brings a couple of cheesemakers over from Italy, learns how to make the cheese, and maintains the quality of excellence that cheese making in that part of the world is known for. Bizarre Foods America, top five video countdown, number one. Been hanging out with Hank Shaw, a guy that, you know, I've been friends with, uh, in the Twitterverse for, for quite a while, who represents so many of the things that I love and appreciate about food, in terms of hunting and foraging and putting it on the plate. So we've got a, we've got a massive peck of suck a load of doves. Let's go <laughs> clean them. Yes, we do. You know, going out dove hunting and cooking up those, the grilled doves, the poached doves. He and his girlfriend, Holly, represent everything that's sort of right in the food world to me. And to, to go out into the field and be able to pull that food out of a multi-use system and keep it full circle sustainable, I don't know, that excites me. But if there's one thing that this part of the world represents, it's an idealism that we can do things a different way. Embrace it. You might learn a thing or two. Adios. Adios.